Hey everyone, this is Shreyas and welcome back to another video about the Android 12. This is the beta 5 and you can see the build number over here. We have a lot of changes this time and I have a strong feeling this is going to be the RC, which is the release candidate, which means that this is going to be the closest to the final stable version of Android 12. So let's get started because there are a lot of small and big changes coming in. Also, if you want to watch how finally Android 12 worked out, do make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out the final release of Android 12. So with that said, this is Shreyas and let's tech that out. All right, so first thing is that there are a few changes in the lock screen over here. Apart from the Google Pay wallet button over here, now you have access to your home devices from another shortcut over here as well, which is pretty good. I have a number of smart home devices which are working and this shortcut is really helpful for me. Over here, the clock has moved down from before as well. And uh, over here, for some odd reason, the weather is missing. So just like the lock screen, even the always on display has got a change over here. Again, the weather is missing for some reason, but there is an odd distance over here. So when a notification comes in, you can see the notification badge over here, but this empty space is still remaining. I believe the weather widget will be coming in over here. So the other good thing is that you get the cellular network notification over here rather than scrolling down from the notification panel, which was the case before. Also coming to that over here, you can see that the at a glance widget has changed a lot it has become a bit smaller for some reason i don't know but again you miss out on the weather over here but there are a few additions at the at a glance widget which i would like to go through really fast so first you see the customize options coming over here rather than it being called preferences so once you go to customize you see the gear icon over here is flashing and the menu has changed a bit so over here you can turn on and off the at a glance by the way it's not this particular widget which you can turn on and off it's just the options that are shown within it now if i click to the gear icon you can see this is a half pick menu but the at a glance and customization has moved to the center and it has got a description as well you can read over here and there are features which you can turn toggle on and off but unfortunately they are missing so definitely something is to come over here apart from that there is a very interesting inclusion over here which is called search your phone over here you can see you have a number of toggles to select from which is shortcuts people settings and pixel tips you can toggle them on and off but later down in the video i'm going to show you a very interesting thing about where this is implemented so stay tuned now there are a few app changes which have come in which i really appreciate like finally the calculator app is going to be following material u design theming so this is how it looks in dark mode with my current color palette which is selected over here if i just change it to something based on blue let me just very quickly go and you can see the dynamic theming is coming into play so now you can also see that the scientific calculator has been squeezed in over here so you can expand it or just move it away Another thing is that you have got this all clear button which previously you had to press the delete button for and the delete button has moved down so reachability is pretty good and parenthesis is squeezed down to one particular button only so you can see over here that the same button is being used previously there used to be two separate buttons for the same and this is how it looks in light theme let me just change the colors once more to quickly show how it changes and this is how it looks in light theme the major overhaul has happened in the clock app so first of all you get this pill shaped fill colors over here according to your material you design not just that you get these buttons in bigger font as well like the play button is huge over here the timer and you get a when you set up a new timer you get this double zero button so for example if i need three minutes it usually comes near the seconds and i can just three minutes and go to play and you can see the timer has started over here and if i go to the stopwatch similar uh, not a major change but the interesting part is one when i go home from here you can see my stopwatch is running over here and my stopwatch and you can see two dots over here very carefully so let me just show you from close by so over here you see two dots so when i scroll you can see my timer coming up over here and when i again scroll to the left you can see that my stopwatch is being shown and if i press this it will go to my stopwatch only and not just that if i just scroll to my timer 
and open it is coming to my timer so that's a very neat addition that the at a glance widget can access some system apps for showing you shortcuts to that not just that for example if i hit a lap over here the second lap has started and you can see over here that it shows lap 2 so these are really neat additions to the at a glance widget i really loved it so i don't know if it's visible but all the numbers are in circular color pill shaped and over here the alarm uh, also has got a bit of a change so obviously you still have the direct google routine shortcut from there but now you don't have the repeat tick mark to set it for multiple days so you can just directly do it from here and for vibrate options you have a circular checkbox instead of a square checkbox now going to bedtime you have nice features over here like sleep sound has come in down over here itself which is pretty good because you can just go here change the sleep sound or choose something from youtube music since i have it connected to mine set it over there and your upcoming calendar events comes up over here as well you can add multiple clocks over here as usual the plus sign has changed from the from the globe logo which used to be here and it is pretty huge as well not just that now you can if you want to remove a particular time zone you have set you can just swipe it and it will get removed so for example i can just swipe to remove new york and you can press and hold and move these top or below another sweet thing is you get this particular notification which says that how much time it's ahead or behind which is pretty sweet it could be plus or minus as well another interesting thing in the clock app is when you're for uh, looking for the time picker in alarm so let's say over here you can see the time picker over here goes by the material you theming and the time picker over here is something you can see again going by the material you theming let me just go into the digital phase and this is how it looks and for some reason the material you theming over here is always in dark theme it is nothing uh, light i guess it could be because you will access the clock app mostly at night now is the major thing about the clock app which is the widgets now this is something that we were shown in google io and was very very interesting to look at all right so over here you have clock and you have four widgets to choose from first of all this one the analog one is dynamic you can see the seconds hand still moving and it's showing the actual real time which is really neat and it is showing according to the material you theming currently because we are in dark theme so let me just show you how this looks take it to a completely clear page now there are some very interesting things first of all this is very flexible in terms of its size because you can make it extremely small and this is the smallest you can make it which is pretty cool and you can make it as big as the screen as well again pretty cool it takes up a lot of space though but it's pretty nice and did you notice a very interesting thing over here the color just changed so according to the placement of the widget it will take the colors from there and decide its color palette so you can see how it's dynamically changing as i move it around in the scene so this is really good and if you have multicolor uh, wallpapers or something with two tone colors mostly it will be really nice and clicking on the widget will take you to the clock directly and look at this animation when you go back it sinks into the widget itself which is pretty good this is how some uh, animations were built for android 12 by default but now it's there so this is another pill one this will also show some other details so now you have a calendar over here which is great now if i just go over here and just set an alarm for example the alarm will come up over here which is really neat also this also dynamically reacts to the color you can see over here and let's just show you the size this is the biggest it gets and this is the smallest it gets next we have the stacked widget this is just a difference in orientation everything else is pretty similar and you can see that it just works pretty seamlessly same feature so i won't waste my time but the interesting one is over here with the world clock widget so if i just make it to the smallest size you can see that it is showing me just one time zone and this is going to be the one listed above so as you can see i have added way more time zones over here so let's see how the widget reacts now if you start expanding the widget you can see my second in the list has come up now the third now the fourth not just that now i'll expand it below and you can see the other time zones now i had only six listed 
so they are expanding and you can see the colors are also different so i believe this is because of the dynamic theming again it is taking basically from the color palette and doing it based on the region it is placed on the screen so if i expand it more yes now you can see the majority has come into the brown portion and that's why it's taking the colors from there so i believe this is also going to help in providing contrast so that these widgets are way more visible in whichever wallpaper you place it in so that's pretty cool and how this is being decided is something i'll explain again further down the video so now let's move on to a very interesting part which is called as universal search so there was a bug on beta 3 to beta 4 if i'm correct which was about this search widget so definitely google was working on it and now we have something cool so over here you can see that there are preferences these preferences are exactly from the search result in our at a glance widget. So let me just show you real quick. If you go from at a glance and go for search on your phone, these are the same options coming up when you click over here and there's a always keyboard show option. So let me just click over here and you can see again, it's asking me if it should show the keyboard always or not. So I'll just keep it aside. So let's say I searched a particular contact. You can see my contact is coming over here with a shortcut for messages. So if I click over here, it will take me to messages directly. For call, I can just do it directly. It will come up with the call over here. Not just that, it can show me the contact information from here as well. So that's pretty neat. Not just that, if you scroll down, you can see the related Gmail IDs I have added with that particular number or you can do a search from Google. Now this is with the person's name. So let's say I search a particular app like a clock. So over here with clock, you can see that the certain options of these clocks are coming up and these will dynamically change with the selections you make from now. And if I search something like time, now, obviously these are some contacts coming up, then you have a clock, but since the contacts come up first, more options come up regarding that. And in the clock over here, it's there. And you have something called as a timeline under the maps uh, app as well. So that's coming up. You have all related settings from the settings app as well and from pixel tips. And again, you have search from Google. So this is a very interesting thing, how universal search is working on Android 12. And I'm really looking forward to this because it will really help. Now, another thing is what will happen when I do always show keyboard here. So let's turn it. Yes. And I can, again, it's showing me a pop-up that I can change it from here. So let me just go back and swipe up. And you can see the keyboard pops up just when I swipe up so that I can start typing instead of scrolling. So when you scroll, the keyboard just auto hides. That's something of a personal preference. And if you want to disable it, you can just do always hide keyboard. Now let's get down to the notification pane. So over here, you can see in the notifications, uh, first of all, this device controls part has changed its icon from a bulb to a home. So it's using the regular home widget option. And speaking of notifications, another sweet little shortcut over here is that when you clear all notifications, for example, you sh are shown no notifications. But when you tap on that, it goes to your notification history, which is pretty cool. All right. Now there is another small change in nearby share. So for example, if I go to nearby share and you can see over here, there is an option called as everyone, which was called something else before. So it, and you can see the design aesthetic of the pill shaped and the fill colors are carried over you over here as well. So when you go to everyone over here in device visibility, you have options which is used more temporarily for privacy reasons, obviously, and you have, you can keep it on all the time. So these are some differences which has come down in nearby share as well. Another small change which has come with related to the Pixel Buds A over here and even if the original Pixel Buds, if you have them. So it has got its dedicated shortcuts. So if you go into the widgets, you scroll down to Pixel Buds and you go to shortcuts, you get this particular shortcut pertaining to your particular devices only. So what will happen is, it will directly take you to the options and the Bluetooth menu with its additional settings in the Bluetooth menu as well. Now, this is something I noticed in Android 12. I'm not sure if it is beta specific or not. So that's something you can keep in mind. Now, the next most interesting part is the Easter egg. Now, there is why I'm going to the Easter egg, although I showed it last time to you is something different. So when you go to the Easter egg, I'm sure everybody is aware that when you take the clock to the 12 mark, and let it go 
it will show you this particular easter egg with all the colors now when you do this once after installing the beta 5 you can go home go to widgets and here you have something called as android s easter egg and it called it is called paint chips so let me just place it on another screen let's just do it over here now it will pick up the dynamic theming colors from here and the more you expand it it will try to show its dynamic color palette so this was really interesting and i think based on this is how these widget colors are being decided like for the clock widget i just showed you previously and i think when you click on that it will show you for the whole scene and not just that if you click on a particular color you can see that you have its hex code listed over here and you can share it with nearby share copying it or just sending it via any of your apps so that's pretty neat and this is an easter egg which is specific to the android 12 beta 5 and this also makes me think that this is the release candidate and this is going to be the final version before the official launch of android 12 which i have been wrong about before but i really hope this is the case in this time so that's been it for this particular video this is about android 12 beta 5 i hope you liked it drop a like hit subscribe and make sure you visit my video when i'm done with the official android 12 update so that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.